Hey guys, I'm Ryan from Shaboards, and today we're going to do a little video on speed wobbles. I've got two different boards here, and I'm going to tell you the best way to manage speed wobbles on each of the boards. Um, so we've got the mountain board and we've got the summit board. Both boards have totally different truck systems and they're set up in totally different ways. Uh, the mountain board has mountain board trucks which have built-in springs. They're going to provide a super smooth ride on grass, gravel, dirt, over rocks, all those things. And they can even give you this floating feeling like you're floating on a cloud or you're riding the snowboard on a powder day. This board, the summit board, has double kingpin trucks. Um, they're more suitable for riding on pavement, but they can also ride on grass, gravel, all those things. They're gonna have a really tight turning radius, so you're gonna be able to make some great turns with those. So on the mountain board, um, the best way to manage speed wobbles is in your stance. Um, if I hop on this thing right now, you're gonna see that this deck is kind of just, you know, going back and forth. Um, a lot of give, a lot of give because of those springs in the trucks. So this is great if you're experienced at riding it, but for beginners, there's some tips. And those tips are gonna be all in your stance. You're gonna to wanna to slightly bend your knees and lower your center of gravity, lower that butt closer to the board, closer to the ground. You're gonna to wanna to ride this board as if you're riding a surfboard or as if you're riding a snowboard, okay? So if you're riding like this, you're gonna be able to manage those speed wobbles and it's a good way to practice and learn because once you get good, this is how you're gonna to wanna to ride. So, like I said, uh, bend those knees, lower that center of gravity. So much easier to manage speed wobbles, control speed wobbles when you're riding like this versus if you're riding straight leg. If you're riding straight leg and you're only turning with your feet, uh, you, if you get into a speed wobble, you're most likely gonna wipe out if you're riding like this. But when you're riding like this, you have so much more control. When you lean, your, the board goes with your body, with your body's weight, okay? You lean backward, you can see the board's coming with me. You go forward, the board's coming with me, okay? So this is the best way to ride, the most fun way to ride. It's not going, it's not going to completely eliminate the speed wobbles. You're gonna get speed wobbles when you're traveling at high rates of speed because of the springs in the trucks. But this stance makes it much easier to control, much funner to ride. And this is how you should ride this mountain board with this truck system. As you can see, I'm just kind of floating here and it's great when I ride like this. Um, moving over to this board here, there's a couple of things you can do outside the stance. Um, you can actually tighten the trucks up and you have two places on each truck that you can tighten up. So, for beginners, the first thing I recommend is taking this board out of the box and tightening up the trucks. Um, because if, there, if you guys are planning on riding, testing these high speeds, these top speeds, or even riding over 20 kilometers an hour, um, beginners, inexperienced people, are most likely going to get speed wobbles. It's just a part of learning to ride a longboard and a part of traveling at speed. So. What you can do is you can tighten up these trucks. So the two uh, nuts here. So the first, the, fir the top one, you can just tighten up with the skate tool that came with the board. You're gonna turn it clockwise, tighten it up. Uh, the bottom one here, you'll get a couple turns with the skate tool, but it's gonna be much easier to adjust with an adjustable wrench. So just like that. Super simple, super easy. Um, and then once you become more experienced riding, you'll be able to loosen these trucks up and you'll be able to take turns at high speed with looser trucks and it will be, become very fun. But for beginners, gonna recommend that they put those trucks pretty tight. Unless you're kind of just cruising around town on the sidewalk and you wanna curve, you wanna get some turns in, then you're only traveling 15 kilometers an hour, loose trucks are fine. But if you're going 25 to 40 kilometers an hour, you're gonna wanna have the trucks tight because speed wobbles are basically guaranteed for beginners. And every time I've wiped out, it's been a speed wobble. 
uh, had to learn the hard way a couple times, so need to pass that information on to you guys. Um, and you know what? On this board, the stance also helps as well. Um, if you're just like the mountain board, if you're riding with the lower center of gravity and you push that butt down closer to the board and you bend those knees, it's going to be a much better riding experience than riding straight leg. You ride straight leg, you're just turning with your feet, uh, you get into a speed wobble, much harder to get out of it if you're riding like this. If you're riding like this, the speed wobble, your whole body is taking on that speed wobble and it's going to be much easier to manage. So that's all I got for you guys. This is a good way to manage speed wobbles on our boards and stay safe out there.